Hi everyone, Brian from Witch Doctor here. It's continuing on with my amp press um, studies and did an interesting one where I took uh, 30 pieces of brass, 15 uh, per each uh, condition in the test here. Uh, 15 pieces of brass. I used the Neo Lube. It's that liquid graphite lube that I had referenced in previous tests and um, basically loaded up the exact same charge, exact same bullet, exact same primer, <laughs> exact same primer weight in fact, and uh, primer depth, and uh, basically exact same rifle shot, shot the 6 PPC, um, controlling for every variable except for uh, actually loading with uh, the lubrication on the bullet and inside the case neck. So um, it is a wet lube. So what I did is prior to charging the case, I went in and um, put the wet lube inside the neck and then I put wet lube um, on the outside of the bullet so that both were lubricated and let them sit and dry. You gotta let them sit and dry for a few minutes before you charge and then seat. Anyway, the <laughs> very interesting results here on the group that I lubricated you can see this is the group down here. Um, the pressure curve was pretty slow and steady and then ended um, anywhere between about roughly 25 and 40 um, in terms of the pressure uh, indicator. So the, the lubricated uh, seating was very easy, didn't take a whole lot of pressure. <laughs> Um, I did check every single bullet based to O-Give uh, or O-Jive, however you want to say it. Um, and they were um, basically all the same. They all seated uh, very well, very uniformly. And then I took 15 and I did not lubricate the bullet or the inside of the neck, just no lubrication at all. And this curve up here is that set of um, seating pressure. So you can see it sort of did have a very linear continuous pressure um, build up and then at the end here you can see the overall pressure was between 60 and roughly 75. So much higher in terms of seating pressure needed to seat that bullet. And then I checked these bullets and the base to Ogive was or Ogive was uh, basically all the same here, very reliable seating. And then they were also the same with, um, it, in compared to the bullets here that I seated um, that were lubricated. All right, let's look at the data. In the lubricated set of data. Um, we checked velocity, standard deviation, and group size. Um, velocity was, and this again just a reminder, this is LT32, 28.8 um, was the charge. I'm shooting at sea level in the Pacific Northwest um, using BR4 primers of the same weight um, and, um, and same seating depth, same bullet and everything, and Norma brass uh, probably have shot this brass maybe 50 times already, but anyway, and it's it's still looking good, still holding up really well. Um, velocity was around 3348, uh, standard deviation 4.6, and the first group size was 0.172. When I went to go shoot the second group, though, um, or and, and then I shot you know a, 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 a not lubed group, and the velocity was 3360. 79 on the standard deviation of 0.185 was the group size. Then I let the barrel cool, clean, um, and then I went up to go um, shoot the lubed group again, and my lab radar was too cold. <laughs> it apparently sat in the 32 degree weather um, for the time it took me to sort of clean, um, let the barrel cool, and take a break. I think I had to make a phone call for a little while. When I came back, I activated it and shot, but it, it would not pick up the bullets for whatever reason. I think it was too too cold. Um, I should have probably warmed it up with a Fowler or something. But anyway, I could not get velocity data on that second one, but the group size was 0 0.161. Then I shot the not lubed, and it gave me the exact same velocity as before and a 12.2 standard deviation, but a really small group, a 0.114, nice size group. 
Uh, then I cleaned and let the barrel cool. I went back and shot the nut lubed first uh, and got 3372 9.2 and I got a larger group. Um, this was because there was a flyer. So if you look at the pattern of groups here, you see down, down at the bottom are the not lubed. So 0.185 for the first group, 0.114 for the second group, and 0.389 for the third. But there was a little flyer that popped down below the group there. There was no conditions on the range to explain that. So um, I don't know exactly where that came from, but it definitely flew out of the group. Um, I couldn't tell that I made any error in, 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 the, uh, in the shot. Uh, everything seemed like it was going extremely well. As you can see from all the shots here, all the groups were pretty darn good. Um, anyway, um, not counting that flyer would have made the group a 0.17. Counting the flyer made it a 0.389. So um, overall, looking at the numbers, uh, the lube velocity was a, a almost 10, almost 20 feet per second slower than the not lubed and I'm wondering in the standard deviations in the lubed was a lot lower than the not lubed so I'm wondering if something about you know not lubing it um, makes it harder to push the bullet out but during the firing process maybe leading to more pressure in there and a greater push on the bullet to make it go faster and that, I don't know, may indirectly somehow cause a lot of variance in, in the velocity, bullet to bullet, I'm not sure. Um, the groups, if you counter them just as they are, um, the aggregate for the three uh, five-shot groups for the lubed was 0.1533 and 0.2293 for the not lubed. If you remove that flyer, though, it goes down to 0.1563, which is very similar to 0.1533. So anyway, your call as to whether you believe that flyer should be counted or not. Um, I couldn't find any reason as to why it shouldn't be, but I just wanted to make show you the data analysis without the flyer. So anyway, it looks like um, interesting results here. Um, definitely lubricating leads to a, a lot less pressure needed to seat the bullet. Um, and so anyway, all right, everybody, thank you for uh, checking this video out. Please subscribe, like, and share.